Hey y'all and welcome back to another tutorial on Scratch. So in this series, we will be making Jetpack Joyride on Scratch. So let's start. So here we are on a new project. And at first I will delete the costume and I will upload and all the uh, links to the art are given in the description. So we will take Barry Fly.spg and the size will be 50. Fine. And um, we will set it uh, X to 175, negative 175 and Y to minus uh, like negative 121. So at first, uh, we will delete the my variable and create a new variable as player uh, yv, that is player y velocity. We'll create that. And uh, when clicked, uh, we will get a change. Okay. And so uh, first of all, we'll get one clicked when green flag clicked. And then we'll get a forever loop and put it here. And this will be minus 0.5, fine. So this is it. And then we will go to this position by default, fine. And to handle the gravity things, uh, we will make a block uh, named as gravity, okay. And then here uh, we will change y by player y. So it change y by player y fine next uh, we will add a if condition okay so if um, we will get an and block and uh, uh, lesser than block okay here will be this will be zero and this will be our player YV. And here it will be touching ground. So firstly, we will create ground. I will rename this to Barry. And then we will create a new sprite, ground, ground.spg. It is open, yep. And then uh, we will place the ground at zero and minus 120, okay? And then uh, we will make it a bit down. So that is perfect, okay? And then uh, here we will come back and we can rename this to ground, okay? And here we can get touching ground okay and we'll bring an if block and place the condition there next uh, we will change y by negative of player yv like player y velocity so change y And then we will set player y, uh, yv to zero. Okay. Yep, so let's try that. Let's keep it here. Okay, we need to add the gravity block in here. Yep, works fine. Good. Uh, now we will add a roof sprite. So I will rename it roof and we'll upload the costume roof, uh, roof.svg. Yep. And then uh, for roof, we will place it on uh, the x minus two and y164. That's the perfect position. And uh, we will do the same thing here. So we will duplicate this. But instead, uh, we will reverse the condition that will be this and touching roof. 
now we see that uh, we have repeated some code and uh, it does the same thing only the conditions are different so we can create a variable as condition okay and uh, what we can do is we can get set condition uh, to here in R. And here we can get first first condition and then the second condition. Oops. Yep. Uh, yes. So that's it. And then uh, we will remove this and uh, put an equal block here. That'll be if condition is equals to true. So that is a lot much cleaner fine and then uh, we will define a little of the moving up like the jetpack uh, logic so for that we'll get uh, when clicked and then uh, we will get a forever loop and then and if then okay and the condition will be key space crest space pressed okay and uh, here uh, we will not uh, when the space key is pressed we will add some delays so that like the jetpack is uh, isn't just on like when you just uh, press the space key so that's the thing here so 0 0.05 uh, seconds i think that is enough and we will add a repeat until here and that will be uh, not key space pressed so we will duplicate this and put it here so that is it and uh, in that we will change player by uh, player yv by two so let's check it out Yep, this works, gravity works. Yep, so everything works. So that's it guys for part one. See you in part two and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.